How's it going to you boys? It is now week 12 in our final season here at Coastal Carolina. We've got three games remaining and this one against Mizu, who's only five and four, uh, is probably going to be looked at as a bit of a tune-up game. Uh, the next two weeks we will play a ranked Florida, potentially in the top 10 if things go well for them this week. And then after that, a ranked Notre Dame, a team that we have a lot of history with so far in this series. We beat them twice last year, I think. And we've played them all sorts of other times. Always a highly ranked game, and it's pretty much always a close one as well. So uh, we'll hope that nothing goes wrong in this Mizzou week and that we can just stay healthy through the end of the regular season. But uh, we are favored to win this matchup, as we should be. Uh, Mizzou a B-minus team, so not a very high overall. And with a record at f f uh, five and four, you can't expect a whole lot. Uh, statistically, they're having a... I would say overall better offense maybe than us. They're getting more yards and rushing yards, but everywhere else we're looking good. Uh, turnover differential, they're beating us and they're doing a better job of stopping the pass. Although both of us are not good at pass or at stopping the pass so far this season. So maybe we can uh, exploit them a little bit and have Marquis uh, just run deep on every play. <laughs> All right, for these guys. Wow, okay. Well, they just broke their uh, losing streak against the University of New Mexico in overtime. But before that loss to Tennessee, Florida, Kentucky, and Arkansas all in a row. They do have wins against Georgia, Mississippi State, Purdue, and Alabama, though. So uh, kind of interesting. Like most teams we will play this year, or I guess like every team this year, we are definitely going to be most difficult game on their schedule. So we'll be getting the, the best from them. And we do have a couple of guys visiting for this game, but... We're going to set up a couple more visits for the coming weeks. Again, trying to send guys to Florida. And here I have to determine, is the competitive visit and losing 50 points worth it uh, versus the XP that we could get? I'm going to say it's not. We'll send Terry Irby. It's not a very good, or sorry, Trey Irby. He's not a very good defensive tackle to this Mizzou game. And then, uh, well, let's send Walter Moore to the Florida game and David Day. We'll head to that Notre Dame matchup. Uh, this is a big one. Uh, I want to go real quick and take a look at David Day uh, because that man as a tackle, again, we were like 4,000 points a couple of weeks ago behind Nebraska and Oklahoma. We are now just 1,140 behind, gaining almost 1,000 a week. Nebraska does have a visit lined up for this week or for next week, I should say. Uh, but if we just continue to jump up, we're the only team to offer him a scholarship. So this could be essentially a free 78 overall tackle. Let's go ahead and quickly take a look at uh, ESPN, our top 25 polls, our Heisman watch like we always do, and see if there's anything crazy ranked game-wise. I don't think there's a whole lot. Uh, Illinois will play Nebraska. Uh, Cal will play Stanford. And that's it as far as ranked matchups goes this week. So nothing all that crazy. We'll just have to see a lot of upsets if we're going to see a whole lot of movement. Uh, Heisman Watch, I believe we were second and fourth with Marquise and Radon uh, behind a couple of running backs. Uh, one of them, Brandon Brown, who had a pretty solid game last week. Uh, 15 carries, 189 yards, and three touchdowns is impressive. The, the way he did it was something. But again, Marquise, like... That's a lot of uh, total yards, well over 400 and multiple touchdowns. Uh, he deserves this Heisman. Let's try to get it for him. Loading in. Uh, ooh, I like this. We got a shaky bar on defense. 81 overall for Mizzou with an 86 offense and only a 76 defense compared to our 97. That is absolutely fantastic news for us. Uh, I kind of want them to wear some sort of interesting alternate. Uh... And you know what? We'll have them. Let's have them wear the aways, but just throw the Top Gun helmet on there uh, for the fun of it. Why not? And for us, we're just going to wear the standard homes. Haven't worn them in a while. And, uh, you know, we don't need to do anything special for what I'm expecting to be a blowout. Again, not a very good team that we're playing this week. They do get more total yards and more rushing yards than us. And defensively, they can stop the pass just a little bit better. But... Beyond that, there's not a whole lot going on for these guys. Bunch of guys visiting. Uh, we're not going to be too worried about those goals. I think that we'll pretty much get them organically. So we don't have to worry all that much. A quarterback, a fullback, and a wide receiver are the top players for this Mizzou team. Uh, quarterback's best player at 90 overall. That's good news for them, except that means also that the rest of their players are not very good. So 
hopefully something that we can exploit and that's gonna hurt them quite a bit a right tackle and a right end out for the week and an outside linebacker is probable so let's just get right into this one a beautiful late fall maybe early winter day here at the new stadium as uh we are going to lose the coin toss so i will expect us to receive the ball and uh, just a gentle breeze on this day as we get this one underway we'll hope for a good return from marquise but i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the hint for what our next program will be right off the bat because i've been kind of slacking on that uh our last uh video the version 13 one that just came out i mentioned that we would be at a team that is east of the mississippi river that was a pretty big narrowing one i'm gonna give you guys another one is uh we're gonna send marquise deep here uh the team that we are going to be joining is not a power five team so nothing too big uh again uh, east of the mississippi not power five that eliminates quite a bit Radon just slightly overthrowing Malcolm Williams on first down is a shame because it could have been a touchdown. Looks like they want to bring pressure as we will run Mike Fontaine up the middle and he's going to break a tackle but then get hit pretty hard from behind and only gain three yards. And now we've got a third and seven that we have to deal with. It's certainly not going to be easy but we shouldn't be too worried just yet. We're going to get outside the pocket throw maybe a risky one and Williams has it and he gets out of bounds. So Jonathan able to strike early with 14 yards. And I still think that we could probably hit a lot of home run balls in this game. So we might be looking for that on this play action. Can we? No, we're just going to... Oh my gosh, almost throw a pick. Uh, that was just weird. Well, another first down in completion means another run up the middle on second down. We'll see if Mike Fontaine can get better blocking this time than he did last time. And yeah, marginally better. Gets us a couple more yards. Unfortunately, not enough to get the first down means we do have to go for another third down conversion and looking through the air, throwing it late. We find Bo Lamb and I don't know how we fit it into that window, but we find him and he holds on through that early contact. And once again, we convert on third and long. An okay drive to start this game. Can it be better? Oh, late throwing the ball. Radon took a big shot. I was just late to make the throw and we almost took a sack and then almost threw a pick so again incompletion on first down leads to a run on second down and at least the runs are getting better every time that one goes for seven well we're gonna try uh our flea flicker here uh this works very rarely but i feel like against this sort of team it could work well right on breaks a sack and marquise was wide open in the end zone but we couldn't get it off so it's fourth and eleven i'm not gonna let a team like mizu scare me away from going for this on fourth and long uh we just gotta hope for a good completion x should be wide open and chad bradshaw holds on to it inside the 15 yard line we haven't had success passing on first down let's just go for the run and well we're not having success there either our first down offense is not so high right now i'm out looking at the bubble screen but i'm not a huge fan of that so we're gonna audible away from it and see if we can uh, pick up the yards elsewhere. They're bringing a lot of pressure up the middle. So outside the pocket we go. And I'm going to scramble for this. Radon should have had it. No problem. But we ran into, I think that was Sean Stewart. And just kind of stepped out of bounds. See what we can do here running the ball. Mike Fontaine getting the first handoff on the counter. He goes in. No problem. Honestly, a little bit more difficult of an opening drive than I expected. We took a lot of time off the clock and had to convert a fourth down, but we do strike. And I don't know if I should be worried or not, but again, that's against like a 70-something overall defense. So uh, we should not be struggling that much. Hopefully we're able to just settle down and start to dominate there. I'm going to hope that our defense can do a decent job. Again, our defense has a big uh, overall advantage over their offense. So we should do a decent job. And they go with the screen. And Kale Mackey's there to drop him uh, on the first play of their drive. Will we see another screen or another pass? Or will they run? Looks like it's going to be a run up the middle. And we were there for the stop in the backfield. But uh, he's breaking the first tackle. And the running back got back to the line of scrimmage, but these guys are going to have to go in the hurry up looking to pass and on third and long, throwing it up. Maybe it can be picked off and it's Jenkins who has the interception and he gets a decent little return to get us back towards midfield. Uh, we're lucky that Jenkins got there because otherwise I think, who was that, Spencer Stanley? I think he was about to get burned. 
Definitely looking for that long ball, but until we see the defense set up the way I want them to, we're going to be uh, running it a little bit more than we did on the first drive. Maybe try to draw the safeties in a little bit as they are going to bring pressure and... Uh, I don't like that. Let's send him back a little bit on the audible. And then he's out of position. Ah, the fake sweep goes nowhere. I should have known that wasn't going to work, but I was going to try it anyways. Only a minute left in this first quarter already as they are honestly kind of ripe for a deep ball here. So we're going to look for it. Marquise potentially. I felt the pressure coming, so I threw it earlier than I wanted to. But he has the chance to go up there and get it and loses the 50-50 ball. I think it would be fair to say that we got a little bit lucky that that one wasn't intercepted as looking for him. This time, Marquise will come down with it and get us 18 yards before going out of bounds on that one. Let's see if maybe we can score on this one. Uh, I'm hoping for it really late. Finding Marquise. No. They jumped the route and it's incomplete. Again, lucky it's not picked off. Sometimes it really does feel like we play down to the level of our opponents because this is not a good defense. We have a good offense, but they're just not able to produce very well right now. Well, that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Uh, didn't get the playoff in time, so on only our second drive of the game, we are already into the second quarter. And we will be looking to extend the lead a little bit here on this drive. We'll run the ball to see if we can convert, but I would go for it on fourth down here, I think, if we don't. So we'll see what Mike Fontaine can do on the counter. There's literally nowhere to go. Five white Mizu jerseys in the backfield. They're stopping that run. Fourth and seven certainly isn't optimal, but uh, we might be able to be just fine. And yeah, there's JJ Barr wide open in the fullback. Lining up as the tight end goes into the end zone. 22 yards downfield. He's a surprisingly good receiver. He keeps uh, making really big catches throughout this season. Well, let's hope that the offense of Mizu doesn't have chance to get moving at all. Let's see if our defense can maybe create another turnover on this drive, or at least in this game. They're going to come out in a five-wide set immediately to start this drive, so trying to bring a little bit of pressure on the quarterback who scrambles and will hit him. He holds on to it, breaks a tackle, and gets seven yards. And if that's how they want to play, scrambling the quarterback, I don't mind having a QB spy for most of this one. Don Riley misses a tackle. Jenkins gets picked up on the block, and they are far downfield. It's Phillips getting the tackle eventually, but not before they get inside the 10. And in the hurry up, Mizu, a chance to score on a very quick drive. This one's going incredibly quickly. I'm expecting the run to the outside, and there it is. So we'll drop him for a loss of three, maybe a chance to get a little breather. It's already Kale Mackey's third tackle for loss of the game is again, they're looking to throw and in the corner of the end zone, they've got a man completely wide open. Our safety is not doing anything on that one. And just like that, this terrible Mizu team just scored way too easily. Very disappointed in our defense. That should not be allowed to happen. Uh, hopefully they don't have to take the field too quickly here because, oh my gosh, well, never mind. <laughs> It really is either all or nothing with our return team. It, <laughs> how many times have we scored touchdowns? And also, how many times have we started to drive inside the 20? Because I decided to bring one out. Uh, again, this 79 or whatever overall defense doing a great job stopping the run. If we weren't already up 14-7, I'd feel a little bit worried about the way that we're playing. But it's doing okay so far. Radon with a great chance to get downfield. Takes a couple of hits. Hopefully he's fine, but picks up a good 23 yards on the keeper. This could be the play where Marquise goes deep. They're pressed up at the line with no deep safeties. He's easily burned his man. The pass is underthrown, and he just runs past it. Both of those guys sh should be really wanting to make that work. Uh, I maybe threw it a little bit late, but uh, that's, a, that's a shame. And there I'm short of the line to gain. Thankfully, it's still third down. Bo Lamb having a better day receiving than Marquise so far, which we can't afford. Third and two, running it up the middle, and the running game holds just long enough for Fontaine to pick up the first down. Just going to keep throwing the football here as, again, Jackson open. If he can make that man miss, oh, that would have been beautiful. Shed the tackle, but he went out of bounds. Marquise has too many incompletions for me right now, so hopefully we go on a big streak of completions. Although, maybe we don't need to pass if Mike Fontaine can run like that, finding some space. 
and getting the first down. Going with the play action. Again, they're really shifting the defense pre-play here. What can we find? Oh, this is a tough one. Marquis back in the end zone. Can't come down with it. Oh, if I throw that immediately, I think it's a touchdown. So just more and more incompletions at inopportune times is very frustrating. Uh, we get one back there, but again, just having to convert on third downs is not okay. As a team, we should be performing so much better, and we're having a really hard time even there. Mike breaks the tackle on the backfield, but still can't get the first down, so again, we're going to have to go for it on fourth down. If we get stuffed at the line, we could be really in trouble. J.J. Barr coming in for this carry, and he gets hit at the line, and it's a turnover on downs. How is this defense bullying us around on the line of scrimmage so much? Well, we better shape up on defense. Uh, we can't afford to give up points to these guys. Quarterback looks like he wants to scramble immediately, and we hit him, but again, he gets five yards there. This quarterback kind of looks like me in desperation mode with how quickly he starts to scramble. Uh, second and five, I'll expect him to take off again, and no, he's got a man wide open over the middle of the field. Our defense is atrocious. 97 overall, by the way. I'm done with it. This quarterback doesn't get time. We're blitzing every single play from here on out. And we're still going to get burned, but at least we'll have a chance maybe to one day get a sack. Although I doubt it with the way we play so far today. What can we do on this first down? Hoping for the best? No, another wide open receiver immediately in the route. We legitimately can't stop these guys right now. Blitzing on just about every play is what you would expect to maybe get us a chance to get a sack, but these guys are just, uh, I don't know, he's releasing the ball so quickly. This is our chance now to get off the field. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to take it, but I'll hope for the best. Kind of left my man open, but I'm not alone. Sandcastle getting destroyed on the route. They get the first down. They're going to take a look at it. I'm fairly certain he was in bounds, though. And... Uh... Ooh, the game might say that's out of bounds, actually. This could be considered a third down stop. Oh, well, would you look at that? By no skill of our own, we stopped them. So even though they're across midfield, it's the punt formation for Mizzou. Uh, don't be surprised if they fake this. We saw one last week. I guess we're not going to see it this week as this is going to be returned. I'm bringing this out of the end zone on the punt. Marquise just needs to get around that man. And of course, there's a penalty flag. So this one's coming back no matter what. That's incredibly frustrating. Well, instead of starting near midfield with a minute and six to go on the clock, we're starting at our own eight-yard line. And that is never what you want to see, so hopefully we can just get lucky and have an easy one throwing it up, finding Chad Bradshaw and picking up 19 yards is nice. Let's go in the hurry up. Just going to continue to keep throwing up. up. Oh, oh got to get rid of it. And Marquise came down with that through the double contact. That's a miracle. I just heaved that one up there with no expectations of the ball being caught, but there we are, just at about midfield, 50 seconds on the clock, waiting, waiting. X may be coming open, and Williams does come down with it, and Malcolm gets us 31 yards almost inside the red zone. Where was this explosiveness from the offense earlier? We are absolutely on fire now. Moving down the field, looking for it, looking for it. Nobody open, nobody open. <laughs> We're taking a sack. I pressed the button, but... Right on, didn't throw it in time. I'm going to take our first time out. All that work just to get sacked for a loss of nine. Uh, it allows us a touchdown, though. Malcolm Williams easily into the end zone. Blue pass his man. And we will uh, extend our lead here just 35 seconds before halftime. Still not happy with the way the team's playing, but that drive was a whole lot better. Well, let's, uh, let's hope for the best on this one. 35 seconds. The last thing we need to do is give up a big touchdown. Quarterback looks like he wanted to scramble and then just threw it straight at the face, I think, of a defender. It's incomplete. Where was this coverage uh, earlier in the game? 31 seconds now again, expecting the pass, and there it is. And quarterback's going to look to scramble. And of course, oh my gosh, how can we not tackle quarterbacks? It's just ridiculous to me. They take the timeout, and on third and inches, they're going to look to throw, and quarterback all the time in the world finds his man. He's going to hold on through that contact, and they get the first down. Something's got to give here. Eventually, 
An interception would be nice. There we go, a sack. Oh, it finally happened. Second and 12, let's take the timeout, why not? Last game we did kind of a stupid thing where we uh, did the onside kick cheese and they scored a Hail Mary. Hopefully that doesn't happen in this game. I'm just kind of hoping, well, for a chance at a pick six, but it doesn't happen that time. Uh, they took their time out. And with just five seconds left in the half, we'll expect the Hail Mary. Uh, I would love it if we could get the stop, but I won't expect it. And quarterback throws it up. It's deep. Only we are in the area, but they run under it. And well, it's just incomplete. That was a terrible throw. Thankfully, it just hits the ground and we can go into the locker rooms up 14. Uh, we do have to give them the ball. And I mean, what do we say about that half? Just not impressive for such a bad team. Five and four on the season. Low 80 overall. And we struggled, all things considered. We we can't be playing like this against Florida or Notre Dame and expect to win. So uh, hopefully team can kind of figure it out. We can turn it around and start building some momentum for the next couple of weeks. I think I want them to return this opening kick of the half. So putting it high with the wind coming at us and a chance maybe just to stuff them. And yeah, that's exactly what we wanted. Keeping them inside the 25. I'm going to uh, open up this half with a big safety blitz as well. And they're out towards the edge on the option. And the quarterback, thankfully, just has to keep it. We do tackle him at the line. It's exactly how we wanted that one to go. And on second and 10, kind of expecting the pass. No, it's going to be a handoff again out towards the edge. And we get there with Don Riley for the tackle. Force this early third down. I don't have super high hopes for the defense, but hopefully we can get a stop pressure there. Oh, my gosh. The running in stride, one-handed grab by Bill Gordon to get the first down. That legitimately seemed to me like the quarterback just heaved that one up and got lucky that his man was in the area. Trying to bring pressure there. Spencer Stanley getting beat by his man on the sideline. It's another seven yards. We truly are just atrocious when it comes to defending against the pass this season. Uh, something's got to give second down they do hand it off and Durham Finch is there to drop him for a loss of two so our run defense continues to be phenomenal as it looked like we even hurt the running back we just can't prevent them from passing to save our lives third and five we're going to bring pressure with the defensive end quarterback has a man wide open and again they convert on third down our man coverage has been terrible, but the problem is I don't think our zone's going to do anything better we'll give it a try for a couple of plays but uh, my hopes aren't high. Spencer Stanley misses a tackle, so we give up five yards instead of none. It is legitimately comical to me that uh, we struggle so much in stopping the pass. Like, it, it just makes no sense. We know they don't have any great wide receivers, so why are we just so bad at this? Uh, quarterback throwing that one away on the screen. We covered it off well enough, I guess. And it seems like that's about the only time we can force an incompletion is when we just trick him into thinking that pressure's coming. And he throws it away instead of scrambling. Quarterback, again, looking for something. And that time, scrambles and gets sacked. I'll give credit to the defense there. That was good coverage. That's going to be enough for us to get to a third and uh, very long here. 13 yards for them to try to pick up. They run the counter. And we were there to slow down Alexander before he finally gets tackled. And they get seven, but it is fourth and six. And as kind of expected, they're going to settle for the field goal. So I don't know if we have any sort of hopes of ever blocking one of these, but uh, it's better than giving up a touchdown, I guess. 21 to 10, and we'll get the ball about midway through this third quarter. Kind of hoping the offense can come out and just dominate on this possession. As much as I am not enjoying seeing our defense play today, uh, I wouldn't mind it if they were back out on the field almost immediately. We're going to try Flea Flicker Part 2 on this first down. Oh my gosh, they brought so much pressure that they got to Mike Fontaine before he could pitch the ball back. Oh, that sucks. Well, uh, in a bit of a hole to start this drive. Let's see what we can do. Raid on outside the pocket. B might be open. I don't think we can get it far enough downfield. Williams comes down with it. Oh, wow, Malcolm held on through the contact. So we've now passed for over 250 yards. And again, I think I got lucky on that one. Well, let's try to continue to run. Can't always pass, but man, our running game is just not fun today. Very uh, pedestrian, I think is a good word for it. 
13 carries now for Mike Fontaine, and he has just 33 yards as he got four on that one. And they're going to bring a safety blitz, which will leave Malcolm Williams open and inside the five-yard line for a first and goal. I'm going to kind of see if we can do something to get Marquise open, get him a touchdown on the day. Yeah, wide open. Good little route, shakes his man far enough off, and we find him pretty much just across the goal line. And I'd say that was a pretty quick drive from our offense, maybe just a little over a minute taken off the clock. Well, that gives us now an 18-point lead pretty late in this third quarter. Again, putting this kick in a spot where they can return it for the hopes of getting a decent stop, and that was okay. And, uh, well, let's hope that the defense can hold up. We had a decent stop at one point. We have an interception on the game, but... Oh, my God. There's not a single passing route that goes towards the edge that we can cover. I'm just going to, like, exclusively run the cover six for a little bit here and hope to see if uh, that does anything. Quarterback again scrambling. He's getting incredible blocking, and he's going to score. Unless Spencer Stanley can do anything. Oh, my gosh. What the heck is this defense, man? If these players were getting paid, uh, we would fire them. We had a... Oh, my gosh. They get us with the hurry up. We weren't set. It doesn't matter. Oh, wow. I am incredibly frustrated with the way our defense is playing. We can't stop an, uh, an option. And Tony McBride isn't even close to getting set before they snap the ball. Literally nothing that we could do to stop them on that drive. Uh, man... Could this be, uh, game just doesn't want us to have any fun? Marquise, decent chance at the return, but the man who needed to get pancaked catches up to us and pushes us out of bounds after a mediocre return. First and 10, I'm going to roll right on outside the pocket here. Never mind, the pressure is all too much there. Just throw it deep for Marquise, and he's almost going to come down with it. Good job from the defense to break that one up. Well, on second and 10, we've kind of got them spread. Maybe we can run it up the middle. Yeah, there's a decent gap and some actually decent blocking for once. Surprised to see that, if I'm being honest. We'll go ahead and just test our luck and uh, go for number two here. On first down, up the middle. Seeing if anything good happens. Uh, not really. Second and eight, just one deep safety on the play. He's going to shy away from Marquise's side. I'm just going to keep throwing these bombs up until he catches one of them. Feels incredibly forced, and it's really hurting Radon's uh, completion and percentage. So maybe not every single play, but it's really frustrating the, uh, the inability of him to get past this bad defense. It is fourth down, but it was always going to be four down territory for us. As we will look to the air and hope for the best as... so oh, that might have been picked off. That's going to be a offensive pass interference. This one's coming back. Dang it. Our uh, tackle just went downfield and was blocking way too early. So puts us in a tough spot. And we could take this into the fourth quarter, but this is going to be the final play of the third. Just looking for someone, and there it has to be it. Marquise Jackson well in front of his man. Getting the stiff arm cheese into the end zone. 56 yards, just barely got there. Again, I'm throwing that pass late for him, but we finally connect. It comes at the end of three quarters. Uh, it's going to increase our lead again, and we can hopefully just get through the fourth quarter without any consequence. We are, yeah, three quarters in, and I, I mean, still, offense has really not been impressive today. We can't run the ball really to save our lives right now uh so many incompletions and i don't want to talk about the defense because uh they're dead to me really really tempted just to uh i don't know put in the second stringers maybe they could do something a little bit better it looks like this could be a decent return but no we end up stopping it inside the 25 again well what do we have on this first down something's got to give in this battle quarterback scrambling it Dude's got a high carry rating because he will not fumble that ball, man. Going to use her uh, defensive lineman, see if we can get pressure that way. No, we do have them in a third down, but it's just barely. And again, I'm bringing pressure here. I do not want them to have the chance to uh, pass this one. And we're bringing a blitz up the middle. Literally nothing. <laughs> oh, wow. Hopefully the team that we move to next year has uh, some decent defense because otherwise I might legitimately lose my mind. 
Second and four. Bringing a little bit of pressure. All the time in the world. Man wide open. Holds on through the contact. All right. I'm just closing my eyes for this play. We'll see what happens. Playing on instinct here. What happened? An incompletion? Did Kale Mackey almost intercept it? I legitimately have no idea what just... I gotta look at this. Uh, I heard incompletion. Ah, oh, yeah, he just got in there and broke it up. Okay, so that's the way to play, apparently. Curious, I'll have to go back and look to see uh, how close I got to the quarterback. It felt like a pretty quick pass. So probably not uh, that close. Uh, it's over the middle. <laughs> I'm done. Five-man rush. Kale Mackey coming off the edge. Will that do anything for us? Quarterback scrambling. Hey, woohoo! We got a sack. Never thought that I would see the day. Second and 17, we've switched into the nickel here and they're choosing now to run it up the middle. Interesting decision-making there. Well, surely there's no chance of them converting this third down, right? They step back, third and 14, looking to throw. Man, completely wide open. Sandcastle, oh my gosh, that was a big hit. We gave up 12 yards, but thankfully not 14. The bad news is we're not out of it yet. I'm putting the defensive ends on a QB contained. Don't let this guy scramble, but it doesn't freaking matter because we have no coverage. Ah! What if we just blitz everybody? Will that do anything? Three guys, four guys in coverage. Can we get the stop? No. Broken tackle too. I just have no idea what to do at this point. I'm lost. It's going to be a run, isn't it? Oh, well, the quarterback's taken off. That's a decent hit. They're still going to score. It's third and three, but I got to imagine we're about to see the quarterback take one uh, into the end zone here, trying to bring some pressure. Oh, my gosh. He tried to scramble up the middle, but we met him there. It's a sack. The problem is it's fourth down, and they're just going to go for it. And we have not stopped a, a long yardage play before. I don't see how it's going to start now. Quarterback throwing off his back foot. Oh my god. I missed the tackle. Okay. We survived. Let's go. I'm losing my damn mind playing against these guys on defense. That was, it's just uh, the worst game that we've seen all season, I think. Like, my user wasn't great, but it's not like I had something terrible. It was just we couldn't cover anybody. Problem is I'm not done with them yet because now I'm just angry. So we're going to try to run up the score. They're bringing a blitz. So let's throw it up and have Marquise just get some more yards. Casual 19-yard reception there. What do we think? Is he open again or are we going to one of the tight ends? Oh, he's open again. Oh my gosh, he burned his man. He wasn't even supposed to be running a go. I had him on a curl, but I can't pass that opportunity up. Man, it is just so much more fun to be on offense than on defense in this game right now. The counter, Mike Fontaine jukes out a couple of guys. Man, he's had some impressive jukes lately as we get over 100 yards as a team. Every couple of drives, the offense just turns on the afterburners and we start to smoke these guys. This is one of those. Although, oh my gosh, I thought that one was going to be picked. Jackson, of course, comes down with it, though. This dude, ah, he's just such a monster. All right. Can we put it into the end zone? Malcolm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Malcolm Williams wide open. There's nobody even near him. Right on, making the passing game look a little bit better. Getting an extra touchdown. Makes our margin of victory look better. Uh, we just have to struggle on defense for another minute and 16. I'm going to go for the onside kick. I'm mad enough. Maybe we can get it. Uh, we touched it first. Dang it. <laughs> it was close, but yeah, just didn't kick it far enough. Well, they're going to get the ball there at the 36-yard line. Honestly, that just uh, makes it so we don't suffer quite as long on defense. They have less room to give us pain. And, oh, Kale Mackey got burned. <laughs> Another broken tackle. Like, God, this is legitimately not fun to play today. I'm just blitzing everybody again. This is the only thing that has any chance of working. And even then, not really. How is it? How? Okay. Someone answer me this question. How did we stop them there? How is it that we held them to zero yards on that play when we can't do that any other time? <laughs> I hate everything about it. Third and six, 50 seconds to go. Are they taking timeouts, really? 
Uh, interesting. Yeah, they're taking another timeout after we get the sack there. That play truly was just uh, a coverage sack. Uh-oh, we are a little bit out of position here. Quarterback finding a man. Oh my gosh, he broke the tackle on 4th and 12, and he freaking picked it up. This is the dumbest end to a game I think I've ever played. Like, what are we doing right now? All the time in the world. Oh my god, Spencer Stanley got the interception. How did how did he get it? <laughs> I'm sorry if this isn't entertaining because I don't even know what the heck is going on anymore. I have fully lost control of myself. So we'll just hope for the best. Throwing up a bomb, hoping we don't get oh my gosh. Alright, well that's uh that, that's happening. Huh. Marquise Jackson, 93 yards in one play into the end zone. We just set multiple records. Uh, I'm not sure if I read this right or not, but I think uh, Radon has over 500 yards passing on the game now. So uh, it's, it's certainly been a weird one. 17 seconds until we can just get out of this and send Mizu packing. Part of me wants to dial up the pressure and see if we can uh, get the ball back and score again. But part of me knows that it's going to be better for my mental health just not to play this game anymore. So we'll let the clock run here. And they are not going to get the playoff. No, they are. Look into the air once again. Final time of the game. And it's picked off by Spencer Stanley. Oh, I thought he was getting the pick six. All right. Well, if they want to give us free turnovers, that looks real good for our turnover differential on the season. Oh, uh, <laughs> what a game this was. Uh, okay, well, we win it 49 to 10. Three interceptions. Uh, Radon had a hell of a amount of, like, just ridiculous yards. Marquise Jackson picked up a ton and had a bunch of touchdowns. Uh, we continue to win 10 and 0 on the season. Radon, again, player of the game. 505 passing yards and six touchdowns. Uh, just, I mean, defense might have had three turnovers and only gave up. 10 points but they just did not have a good game uh <laughs> all right we got some things to figure out before we play florida man you know it's a really weird game for me when i can't even get the final score right 49 to 17 is what that actually ends up as uh you know as bad as that game seemed we only gave up 84 rushing yards and 287 through the air well we picked up 110 and 505 uh, plus the three turnovers, 21 first downs. Like, statistically, we manhandled them, but it did not at all feel that way. Uh, our defensive player of the game will end up being Spencer Stanley. Those two late interceptions give him the honors. Uh, probably would have given it to Kale Mackey, though. He had a ton of tackles for loss in the game. Uh, coverage wasn't the best, but we don't really expect anything else. And a uh, little spoiler here, bottom right game. Notre Dame has lost to Syracuse. So at least one upset. No, there's, there's another one. ULL, the Raging Cajuns, Louisiana Lafayette also lose to Southern Alabama. So uh, two top 15 teams losing at least so far this week. We'll go ahead and just advance straight on through to week 13. Uh, I expect us to be number one. The question is what happens to the teams around us? And who knows, maybe we had some guys visiting. Maybe we get some commits as well. Ooh, right on. That's exactly what happens. Ryan Turner, the 81 overall middle linebackers, locked us out. But we get Joe Justice, maybe the quarterback for the future of this team after we leave to commit 77 overall with one heck of a name. Uh, James Palmer goes to Notre Dame. And Stacy Young, 60 overall wide receiver. Probably will never see the field, but we get him to commit anyways. We get a bunch of XP and we set four, five records or at least tied them. Uh, school record for passing touchdowns in a season, the record for passing touchdowns in a game, uh, receiving yards in a game, passing yards in a game, and receiving touchdowns in a game. So believe it or not, uh, Marquise and Radon, when they connect and play like they did at the end of the game, uh, they end up setting a ton of records. So that's good news. Florida jumps up into the top 10, even though they're seven and three. So our matchup will be a big one and we are not favored to win. We're the higher overall team. Statistically, we're better in almost every category and we're at home. Uh, but well, they want the Gators to win apparently. So we'll try to spoil the fun there. And let's take a quick look at our top 25 and our Heisman once again to see where things lie. 
uh, and see maybe what other teams lost. So Wisconsin at number two lost to Northwestern in a close one. So it's just the chaos continues. We saw that Louisiana Lafayette lost. Number 10, Illinois took a loss to Nebraska. South Florida lost to Houston. Ohio State lost to Penn State. Stanford lost to Cal. Notre Dame, Oklahoma State, and Kansas State all also dropping out of the rankings. This is... Uh, a very chaotic season. It's kind of a shame that in the season where we are just rolling through, for the most part, our uh, opponents is the one where we could get away with having a loss or two. I mean, you have a number eight team uh, in Nebraska, six and four, two games above 500 right now, and they're in the top 10. Uh, same thing with Oregon in the top 20, seven and four. It's just so many four loss teams. I'm curious to see if we'll see a five loss team. Our Heisman watch sees both of our candidates move up a little bit. Marquis back up into the top spot and right on back into third. Uh, they should be one and two. I'm curious if they'll steal votes from each other, but uh, we like to see that. And let's just make sure are we projected for the national championship right now? They say that would be against Clemson, but that would just mean that Clemson is the number two seed on the other side of our eight team playoff. That was an interesting one, but unfortunately, that's going to have to do it for this episode. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. That was crazy. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like, uh, comment. Let me know uh, if you think that we're going to beat Florida next week. And also, I want to continue to see guesses for the team that we're moving to. Nobody's come close yet uh, in, in guessing the correct team. So I'm curious if anybody can figure it out before uh, we end up making the move. After you do that, go ahead and subscribe if you want to get notified when new videos are posted. Uh, all those things do tremendously help out this channel grow. And you guys have been awesome with showing support in the past few weeks. So I really appreciate that. Uh, and then after you do that, head down to the description where you can find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. There's also links to my Twitter, our community discord, and as always, the college football revamped mod. But all that being said... Again, thank you guys for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys. And wherever you are, have a good night. Have a good morning. We'll see you later. Adios.